Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we're learning about ancient Rome. Hi, my name is Guy Trenin and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge and today I want to talk about ancient Rome. And the reason I like talking about ancient Rome is frankly because I like ancient Rome. But often in our curriculum we have pieces that are relevant to ancient Rome. Sometimes it's a project-based learning that we want kids to do around ancient civilizations. Sometimes it's just part of the social studies curriculum, especially when we study ancient civilizations. So there are a few apps. Most of the apps that I will present here are not specifically just about ancient Rome. And some of them we've visited before, so if you've seen all of them, that's okay. And the first one I want to start with, and that's what I would start every social studies lesson, bar almost none, is go to Google Earth and find the location, especially with something like that, because Rome still has much in way of ruins and in way of buildings from Roman times. In this case, we're looking uh, straight down at the Colosseum and immediately we can get the Wikipedia, the short Wikipedia page and a whole variety of photos that different people uh, have taken over time and we can bring that out so we can start visit and immediately get a sense of the place and the things that are still there to be seen even today. So that's one way to use uh, Google Earth, which is a great tool to use anyway. So you can start there. The second thing, and this is again an app we talked about before, but I think it's important in this context, is to go to the History Channel app with m the creations that have been created over time. There's quite a bit of material there. Obviously not all of it is about ancient Rome. And what you do is you simply go in and then search Rome and see what clips come. And you can see that you immediately get things like Pompeii, a, a clip out of the story of us about the sack of Rome, the end uh, of what we think of uh, as Rome. There's Julius Caesar. And you can see that there's a collection. And again, what I like about the clips out of the History Channel is that they are fairly short. So you can introduce topics, you can learn something small and then send students to find out more. The next app I want to talk about is from a family of apps we looked at before and those are the Photopedia uh, apps. And there's a Photopedia for Italy. Obviously it's not just about ancient Rome but because um, Italy has many remnants from that era, you can use that to find relevant photos and again we have the Colosseum here so you can find quite a bit of modern photos with ancient Rome as part of that uh, way to study new places, places you've never been to. So Photopedia Italy provides a lot of resources to get that visual sense of what Rome was about and not just to read about it or see one or two photos in your, uh, in your book. So this one, and you can navigate it in different ways and get to different places around uh, Italy with it as well. Um, this is Britannica Kids. Britannica Kids Ancient Rome has a lot of resources. Uh, we've talked about it briefly before, but there's a lot of resources here that provide basic information in child-friendly language about ancient Rome. I find this very useful. There are different articles about different topics. So you can get to Roman gods, you can have different articles, you can have a quiz, and uh, you can play a memory match and other activities around that that serve to provide information, but also to practice, to see if you understand, and to uh, improve your memory of all things Rome. 
The final app I want to talk about is actually from a series of apps we've never talked about, so this is good. And it's called City Walks, and this is the light version. It's free. You can get a paid version that will have a lot more there. And in this app, uh, which is meant to be a self-guided tour, walking tour of Rome, you can actually take some uh, tours or even better. And this is fantastic if you want kids to be creative and to create something around Rome, they can create their own walking tour. So they can map it out, they can add the sites, and then they can see it. So if a, there's a tour here, and it tells you how long it is and how, much, how long it's going to take, and it'll show you what the sites are there, and then you can, if you're there, you can add photos and stamp the site and all of that, but then you go to the next site, and you can enlarge the photos and get some information about them. And you can see that there are different sites uh, that are organized. And again, one of the great things is that you can create your own one. You can mark the one you like. You can actually uh, look at it on a map and not just as a series of sites. So you have all of Rome and then you can zoom in and see exactly where your, uh, where your tour will take you. And you can also examine specific attractions uh, that are around you. And that's obviously, if you're there, if you're not there, that's not going to work as well. Um, here are some examples, Arch of Constantine. So you can actually create a tour as if you were going to Rome and kids can experience some of what they would see or even better, again, they can plan their own, which is a great way to get them to be active and thoughtful about why certain sites would fit together, or even the geography of walking around town and making it an efficient tour. You can think about it in different ways, and uh, I think this app can really be a, a start for a whole variety of uh, classroom activities that would make it great. So this one is called City uh, Walks Rome, and it's a great way to think about interaction in your classroom. So today we talked about different apps that can be used to teach about ancient Rome, and we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.